I think this was six months ago now, I got asked to audition for a spin-off series from Crazy Rich Asians that's going to air on, yeah, for, like, I think they're making a pilot and they wanted to, it's going to be on like NBC on Netflix, one, some big channel. And they asked me to audition for the lead role. Wow. Whoa! Yeah. You're still in the house. Yeah, well, I've never done anything like this before. Never done an acting audition before. Okay. So I think they're just, well, in the UK, there are not a lot of, like, not too many Asian people in, around, so they just pick wherever they can find. <laughs> 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 but like, it's, it's, so they wanted a... What, what, what were they looking for? How did the brief look? Yeah, well, brief was like, like, handsome, yeah, young handsome. Like, First East of all, I'm, I'm nowhere near good looking enough to oh, play that role. I mean, let, let's be honest. Here. I, I'm happy with how I look. I think I look okay. fine. Next to Tom, we all look shit. But yeah, yeah. <laughs> remember, to the average man, you are very hungry. You are a very good looking man. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. No, no. If, if I saw my face... I, I like how it looks. I, I look. <laughs> but never seen a mirror. Imagine <laughs> seeing my face on a Netflix carousel. I'm not clicking that shit. Uh, but it'll scrub you up a little bit. It'll be great. Yeah, man. You, they, you, get, you, get, Holly, you get Hollywood hot. They yeah, like, you know. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm, Give you I'm a not trainer. Hollywood hot. I'm like, like, like comedian. No, oh, decent looking comedian level hot, yeah. you know. Oh, he's, he's hot if he's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. You gotta stay funny when he comes off stage. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, yeah, I've never done something, anything like that before. And uh, it's just like, uh, I, I, not tall enough also. Five... Ten. Yeah, is, that that a problem for Asian? is that a problem for Asian acting though? For, for acting mean, generally, they want they want people with like because I always get told I'm too tall. Like you need really? To, yeah, yeah. They want like I'll five tell. tens perfect. Like Tom Cruise. Think about Tom Cruise. He's tiny little man. Yeah, maybe. but he's a beautiful man. You know. So I, th I still has to wear high heels. Like yeah, when he when he honestly he wears true. like platform like big heels when he's yeah. acting. I don't think it's neat. Yeah, you don't need to be really tall it's right. not like he, tall people Five are all there well are Henry all, Golding all is like the crazy rich Asian guy I think he's like what six foot I can't check it but okay. Horatio but that's like a couple of inches were you, were you, meant couple, to, you yeah. weren't meant to play him no not but in he's the lead well, uh, yeah auditioning for the lead which I don't know why I auditioned for the janitor or something <laughs> <laughs> I have no acting experience backstage not even on yeah. the the crazy friend yeah the crazy friend the comedic character I'll play the Aquafina equivalent Okay. Oh, I don't know if you saw Crazy Rich Asians, but he's, no, no, he's six foot one. He's See, foot one. exactly. Henry Golding, the lead. He's a very good looking man. He's, yeah, uh, he is British too. British yeah. Malaysian as yeah. well. Yeah. Wasn't so, his role to be super good looking though? Sorry? Wasn't his role about him being super good looking? Yeah, and, and, and so was yeah. this role I was auditioning oh, okay. for. Right. Yeah. That's, that's, so yeah, he's a British Malaysian. So you, you, that's a really small niche British Malaysian kind of, yeah. So obviously there can't be too many people they were looking at, you yeah. would have thought. Tom was on fourth on the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went for it. <laughs> they were like too tall. They weren't looking for British, Malaysian, they were looking oh. for Asians, any, oh, okay, any okay. East Asian. Right. Yeah. Uh, so I've never done an acting audition before and I had the brief, uh, the script really late and I had to memorize all of this for the casting. Right. And I just had to, I got a, a comedian friend of ours, Francis Foster. He, he yeah. teaches oh, yeah. a bit of theatre. He used to teach a bit of theatre. So I'm just fucking <laughs> out. Francis used to teach a bit of theatre. Yeah. Oh, he's a, he's Thank a you for your help, buddy. Francis. Yeah. Really yeah. appreciate there's, it. There's a, there's a, did not work at all. <laughs> yeah. But I appreciate your time. He was he was in uh, season two of this, I think, Francis. Yeah. But he, he continues to amaze because Francis she says like this. He talks like that. Yeah. And, yeah. And then, but he's very, very sort of dramatic and cultured. <laughs> okay, so he's... And he so he's, through the nose really hard after yeah. every punchline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. His podcast is smashing it as well. Yeah, yeah. Good job, Francis. Really, really enjoyed the part. Really good. No. Amazing. You, um, so you messaged him and said, could you read through this with me? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And then he, I mean, it, it was really useful because I had no idea how it even goes. I, 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 I had never, never done any of these things before, like a casting. So he would feed me the lines and give me some like emotional cues and how to express, how to say things. No. I would love to have seen you and Francis Foster do emotional cues. Let's do it now. I'll be Francis. You do <laughs> well, you in the audition. Right. Right, son, Nigel. So I'm a girl and I've come in. Uh, all right, Nigel, I love you. Uh, well, <laughs> sweet I <improv>. don't. <laughs> <laughs> what a couple of it's, talented improv yeah, actors yeah, we have yeah, in yeah, this yeah. show today. As a comic too, I do a lot of, you know, as, as a comedian, I don't know what, um, if you do this at, at all, but on stage, everything I do is exaggerated. Yeah. My facial expression, because you're on stage, you're so tiny and the room is so big, you gotta like, why do you do this? Yeah. Mm. You know, the, the, my eyebrows cr scrunch up. I, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but it's a very exaggerated facial expressions. Yeah. 
And it's worth ex- checking out for that. That was quite <laughs> wonderful. That just little. <laughs> like, if we can get a zoom in on that, for, yeah. for, for, for camera, all the movements have to be small. So like you, they actually they want to be able to say a lot with your face, but not with your body. It's really weird. You well, have to be like dead. Like that is what I just did. There is bad acting. It's yeah. overacting. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. So that's exactly what I did. On <laughs> <laughs> if you see every all, all my Instagram and YouTube clips, I I do that because if you are doing a talking head stuff, it's supposed to be funny, right? Yeah. And then. If you're st- staring straight down the lens, the, the lens takes away th- like tw- half your energy, 20% of your energy. So like everything you do that's way too big, it actually looks fine on camera. Yeah. But acting is a whole different beast. It's uh, you're talking to someone. It actually have you need to be realistic. Mm. So you have the run through, and then you're going to the auditions. Yeah. Feeling nervous. Oh, nervous as shit. And yeah. I, again, I knew I wasn't gonna get it. So I thought, why am well, I you never, but this? you never know though. Like, there's always that, that thing in your head where you're like, "Oh, I'm never gonna do this." Yeah, so I'm it's there. Quite <laughs> yeah. 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 Are there loads of like hunky Asian dudes in the in the? Because yeah, I'm imagining a waiting room uh, of you. Yeah, I saw a few uh, good-looking sort of like, Asian guys. Sort of like the raid, sort of just all chilling there, like buff, good-looking Asian guys. Yeah, and and you know how when you do, you've been, you guys all, we've all been comics for a while, right? And then when we go to a gig, we just okay, sit in the corner, mm-hmm. calm, waiting for our turn, because we've done this before, yeah. right? And then you sometimes you meet a newer comic who's very excited about comedy and just uh, keep talking about comedy, what competitions they've done, what what courses they've taken, all that kind of stuff. Mm. I was that new comic <laughs> in that room. Like, oh, how long have you been doing this? How many times have you done these auditions before? How many times <laughs> you do it a week? And, <laughs> and they were just trying to chill out. Just, yeah, they're, like, they're, they've been there. Yeah. They've, they've, you know, <laughs> they're just calm and collected. I'm like the, the greenhorn. Just, hey, this is cool. Huh? What role are you playing? <laughs> hey, <laughs> fucking. Oh, so that was... Cringeworthy. I, I can only How long are you longer. waiting? I forget now. Half an hour. Oh, so, okay. W- waiting was fine. And then I just went through my lines. And then we went into the actual casting room. Uh, there was a casting director. And then, I don't know if you've done many of these acting castings before. But there's a casting director. And then they set up a camcorder in, in the, somewhere. like Kind of like this right now. And then they tell you, okay, tell, say your name, your height. And then turn around. Like, do like a mug shot. Say your height. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then, and, and then the actual script Are you, are you like six foot one? <laughs> yeah, yeah, just like. Uh, yeah. <laughs> six five, very buff. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so they take your shots and then, yeah. Yeah, and then you start. And then, oh man, I remember like, the first, the first words out of my mouth, the first sentence, and then the casting director says, stop, 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 stop. Just don't try to do an accent. <laughs> what the f- I'm not. This is how I talk. <laughs> I remember that really clearly. I didn't know you could fuck up so bad that the way you speak is wrong. Okay. You know? She was like, just stop. You don't need to do an accent. <laughs> it's just, I, just do your normal voice. This, this is my normal voice. I can imagine that so much. You're like, okay. Hi. Can I stop you right there? <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like that. Did you it's, have to almost put on an accent then because she was like, your normal voice is wrong? Like, well... That's how bad I was at acting. That she, it, it, I made her feel my normal voice is wrong. So she said, "Okay, just just do a normal voice." And I said, "This is my normal voice." And normal voice. And then she asked, "Okay, so uh, what, what's your background? Where are you from?" And so, "Okay, well, it's all uh, a jumble of accents because I lived in Malaysia, then I lived in America, I lived here a while. So it's a, a transatlantic whatever." Yeah. And uh, well, she said it was like, a, "Oh, mid Atlantic accent." Okay, and that is mm. just. Uh, I guess it's a want, nice way to put it. That did, did they want you to be American or did they want you to be British or how did they? It, it didn't say. I, I uh. guess probably, it, I, I don't think they care because in my head, my accent would be a great fit for it because most really rich Asian people, they've probably went to international school and the accent there is like a mid-Atlantic accent. Yeah, it's like mm. a it's weird American twang. New, newscastery, yeah. Yeah. but very understandable accent. Mm. So, she, yeah, she, so it was nice now to say, okay, I guess it's a mid-Atlantic accent, which is a nice way of saying, well, yeah, in the middle of the ocean, nobody cares. You know? <laughs> um, but it was, it was just horrible. That, that was the first like thing that was, was really embarrassing. And then halfway through the whole thing, she just, okay, let, let's stop and, and do this again. And, and then she became, you know, usually at the casting, you just do your lines. She, she says the lines, you do your lines, and it's all good, right? But halfway through it, I could just see her looking more and more disappointed, and then at one point, she just stop. Okay, let me just... So for this line, you want to talk as if you are... She started to coach me wow. on how to do the casting. Wow. <laughs> but that must mean that you looked... Because most of the time, they're just seeing so many people, they're just like, oh, just 
get out basically so like the fact that she coached you is like they obviously really? liked your look or style or something to give you that much time honestly uh, loads of people would just be like yeah. either yeah, that really or they thought you were so pathetic <laughs> yeah, I think <laughs> it's that yeah. they I think were felt guilty that. to just let yeah. you go yeah. no I, but I think Tom's right because I think there's a lot of because they've got to see so many people there's a lot of nodding going yep great uh, Deb thank you so much for coming in goodbye well, honestly so especially for a show been... like that they would have just thrown you straight out the door if they really? had something oh okay so, well yeah, I was I think it's because you said you were 6 foot 8 I think that's yeah. what <laughs> just lying he's really tall doesn't look tall but he's good so, so then she starts giving you like how to act tips <laughs> yeah she starts becoming an acting teacher she, she became Francis Foster yeah did you not tell them I actually trained with Francis Foster yeah. <laughs> uh, the cool. great acting yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> could you uh, talk oh, about he, the alt right a bit get me yeah. in character he, <laughs> he has a really big podcast Francis Foster yeah, you know yeah, oh okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, so so she's giving you to and what are you are you embarrassed at this point or what you, oh, are I was you? totally embarrassed never felt so well the whole vibe was just wrong I know I wasn't doing a good job and I know I wasn't supposed to be there you never feel like you you know you're at the big boys table and you're not supposed to be there so yeah. it's, that's a yeah. kind of really shitty feeling and and it's 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 an odd one as well because obviously you get it with with comedy when you're doing sort of things where you you feel like you're the weakest on the bill or something, there's not anything you can do in that moment to get yourself out of it because it's just a circumstance of how much you've worked, how much experience you've had, and you're just you're there too early or whatever. Yeah. But you've got to be. But so it's a weird, quite sort of isolating experience when you're in that moment and you're like, there's not something I can turn around. It's not like you're playing a game of football and you can sort of pick yourself up and just like work harder in the moment. Like they're just like, look. You're not going to succeed today. Yeah, <laughs> like, there's no that's way. That's it. <laughs> and the, if you work harder, it's even worse. You, you start overacting more and then just, ugh. Yeah. yeah, it's just horrible experience. Mm. Never going to do it again. Mm. I'm so... Yeah. So you got, you got the role though, I assume. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Check me out on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, well, one day and soon, I, I reckon. I also don't envy actors who are of Asian descent here, East Asian and Southeast Asian, especially because on our podcast, we interview quite a few of them. Mm -hmm. And they all have the same one big issue that has scared me off ever acting because they have to do commercials to, that's a money maker, right? And commercial directors are dicks. They just tell you straight to your face, can you do a Chinese accent? Can you mm -hmm. sound more Chinese? And most of them grew up here. They're mm, British. Yeah. Like, what do you mean more Chinese? I, they don't know. <laughs> so they have to pretend to put on a <laughs> Chinese God. accent. And yeah. man, I have done... Uh, my co-host, Evelyn Mock, she yeah. is an actor as well. So yeah, he does yeah. a lot of these castings. And I have done a read with her where she has to put on a, like an Asian accent. And it's just horrible for mm. all parties involved. And she feels like she's... I think she's like, you know, disrespecting all her elders and her own culture. <laughs> it's, it's just Yeah, because that's also, it's also... A, it's a white... Per, is it a white person deciding... Yeah, I mean... Deciding most, most what a Chinese accent is as well. Yeah. Not, yeah. So you could have like a really authentic person from China yeah. do that accent and they're like, oh, no, not, not Chinese that's, enough. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? He's from there! <laughs> and yeah, that, because there just isn't enough roles written for Asian people that are just, you know, oh, British Asian. Yeah. It's always like, oh, this foreign person who just came off a lorry. 